you happy? And if not, what are you going to do about it? In this video, I'm going to explore some hints, tips, and strategies to create a life of happiness and well-being that really fulfills your soul. Hello there, Maggie Reedy here, mindset coach and business strategist and light worker from Pitbull and founder and creator of the Wealth Consciousness Movement. How are you and how is your life looking for this year? Today, I'm going to be focusing on something a little different. I'm moving away from wealth creation strategies, business strategies, and I'm dialing into what makes you tick and what makes you happy. You know, in everything that we do, the ultimate quest is for happiness. And if you're not happy, then it is in your control to change that. So what are you going to do about it? The whole thing is that we are referring to states of being here, happiness, sadness, anger, frustration, overwhelm, grief. They are all states of being and they are all to a certain extent within your control. Of course, there are circumstances and situations within our world that will cause us to experience certain states. But if you are allowing these states to perpetuate without deliberately taking control of your emotional and mental well-being, deliberately creating states of being that uplift you, that empower you, that cause you to be able to be the deliberate, the powerful, deliberate creator in your life, creating your day, moment by moment, then you are at the mercy of the forces that are outside of you. When you are at the mercy of the forces outside of you, you become a victim. Now, you can choose to be a victim for the rest of your life or you can decide to take to control of your states of being, to take control of your life. Do you realize that this is what Tony Robbins is really good at? Empowering people through helping them to take control of their states of being. Because when you take control of your state of being, when you are able to deliberately create a powerful state of being, you are in the driver's seat of your life because it is your frequency that creates anything and everything. Nikola Tesla, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Everything is energy. Everything is frequency. So when you alter your state of being, your state of mind, your frequency, you actually create a new timeline or you step into a new timeline. Because as we know, all the timelines, there are infinite numbers of timelines. They are all unfolding simultaneously. So you get to create and be on the timeline that matches your frequency and vibration. Does that make sense? This is the law of attraction because when your frequency shifts, you shift timelines. So deliberately choose your timeline, deliberately stand in your power, deliberately create your state of being and you create your life because you are the infinitely powerful creator of your life. You're it. And whilst you can't control the external forces and influences in your life, you can control how you respond to them. You can control what you attract to you in the now moment. This is important. This is how you create your life, your future. You can't change the past. Learn to let it go. Use the strategies and the techniques that I help you with, the EFT tapping. And there are so many other letting go techniques that help you to detach, from, to unclutch, to release your emotional attachment to the past. That's what EFT tapping does. It helps you to release your emotional attachment to the past to current situations and, circ situations and circumstances because when you do that, you step into your power or you are then able to step into your power and you are an infinitely powerful being capable of achieving anything that you put your mind to when you deliberately create the right state of being that helps you to achieve anything that you put your mind to, whatever you can conceive and believe you can achieve. Napoleon Hill, 
And all this comes back to your self-belief, your self-confidence, your self-worth, your ability to stand in your power and deliberately create your life your way. This is the now moment that you get to change your entire world from this point forward. Are you going to stand in your power and make that your future? If you're a conscious spiritual entrepreneur who wants to build wealth with a business that feeds your soul while making a difference in the world, then I encourage you and invite you to watch my free Passion, Purpose, Profit Power Class. This is three hours of power that I have created for you to give you the secrets, the formulas, the strategies, the techniques to be able to accelerate your journey, to be able to build wealth, to create the life of your dreams and to make a difference in the world through a business that feeds your soul. I honestly believe that it is the conscious spiritual entrepreneurs who are going to help to change the world and create a better future for the whole of humanity. I honestly believe that. So if that's you, then go to the address that is on your screen right now and register for free for my Passion, Purpose, Profit Power class. And I look forward to seeing you in the training. So let's get back to the original question. Are you happy? If you're not happy, why not? And how are you going to change it? What are you going to do about it? Now, if you are relying on your external circumstances like your level of wealth, your relationships, your state of health, if you're relying on those those external influences and the people around you to be happy, then you're at their mercy, aren't you? Or you're at the mercy of your situations and circumstances. There's actually a great book that I wanted to share with you by Marcy Shimoff, Happy for No Reason. I read this, I don't know, maybe, gosh, well over 10 years ago, um, and it was uh, 2008 was the copyright on this particular edition. So 15 years ago, and I believe I got it when it first came out. So I read that book about 15 years ago, and it was very impactful for me because Happy for No Reason was exactly what I am talking about right now. It's about being so centered and so in charge of your internal state that you don't require any situation, any circumstance to be able to feel happiness and joy. Now, that's not to say that when something happens, like if a loved one dies, you won't feel grief, but to allow yourself to stay in those states and to be at the mercy of those states indefinitely, that, to me, that's not acceptable. That is just giving all your power away. If the relationships that you're in are causing you to be unhappy, then It's either time for you to look at your relationships, evaluate them, decide and determine if they should continue or if they should continue the way they're going right now. And do you have the power to influence that? Because remember, we we teach people how to treat us. Or is it time to forge and foster new relationships? relationships that help us to create that internal state of happiness. We are not relying on them, but they help us to create an internal state of happiness. If you're relying on your state of wealth or lack thereof to influence your state of happiness. Now, money has an incredible emotional charge to it in our world because life without money can be pretty miserable. It can. I am not disputing that. It can be incredibly stressful. Life with money can be a lot less stressful and a lot more fun. But you don't have to be miserable because you don't have money because there are plenty of people with money who are really miserable. So this is where money doesn't mean happiness. Money doesn't mean happiness. It can help you to have a lot more fun and to deliberately create a life that makes you happy. 
but to rely on those circumstances and situations to be happy inside means that if anybody comes along and takes all that away from you, then you will then be unhappy. So this is where it's important to create the internal states within you that are not reliant on the external situations and forces and circumstances to be whatever state it is that you want to be. If you're feeling disempowered, why? If you're feeling sad, why? If you're feeling angry, why? Take control of your emotional states. Now let's get down to the practical stuff. If you're not happy, what are you going to do about it? Now you know that there are all kinds of techniques, including EFT tapping, that can help you re to release those negative emotional states or the, your attachment to those negative emotional states that are causing you a state of unhappiness or sadness or anger or overwhelm or frustration or shame or guilt. You can very, very quickly release your emotional attachment to those states and change those states through using EFT. The key is to focus on what it is that is causing you to feel a particular way. What's the story behind it? Because once you release your emotional attachment to the story, all of a sudden the emotion changes. So then we can look at practically what kind of circumstances and situations can you create that will help you to feel happy? Not that you're relying on them, but what will help you to foster that state of happiness and then deliberately co-create from that place, deliberately focus on what it is that you want to create. Forget about your problems, pay attention to your dreams and relentlessly focus on the direction that you're headed in. Get very, very clear on the life that you want to create for yourself and deliberately create it because you have the power to manifest, to create. Take the action you need to take every single day. Never let a day go by where you're not doing something to create your world and your life your way because you have the power inside of you to create anything that you put your mind to. So I want you to spend the, uh, about 15 to 20 minutes today, if not right now, if you don't have the time right now, and spend 15 to 20 minutes today thinking about, am I really happy? And if I'm not really happy, why not? And what am I going to do about it? If you're ready to take control of your internal state and create your world by design, then remember to register for my Wealth Consciousness Movement EFT Tapping Library, where I have dozens of EFT tapping videos and other transformational content to help you deliberately create your life, your way, and take control of your internal states so you can create your external world wealthconsciousnessmovement.com. I look forward to seeing you in the community. If you've enjoyed this video, then please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and comment below to tell me what you think about the subject that I have spoken about today.